Hey guys, my name is DKK aka Sensei and you're welcome to a brand new tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys step-by-step -step process as to how I was able to clean up my model's hair from what we have on the left to what we have on the right now doing this is is very short and it's not complicated and it's very good especially when you want to um, take off your subjects from one background and then put them in another background um, it helps to not make your work look unprofessional and not neat um, so without any further ado let's quickly dive into it um, so this is my picture originally on a white background so the first thing i'll be doing is to take off my white background of my image so i select my magic wand i take my magic wand selection tool um what i'll be doing with this tool is i'm going to be selecting the areas that i want to take off so i click on the white area hold down shift and come here and click that i'm adding to my selection so i don't have to like click and delete click and delete so i don't keep doing it repeatedly i just hold down shift and then continue adding to my selection so I've selected another white area then I can come down here and select another white area also and when I'm done I press delete to take it off now I'll add a black background underneath so you see what I'm trying to do clearly so I come down here and create a new layer then I drag it below my subject and then fill it up with black right so this is what we have now so for me to clean this what i'll do is i come to my subject and press ctrl j to duplicate so i have a copy and let me take this off and then i right click on my duplicated image and click on create clipping mask so what this does is i've clipped my duplicated image into my image right so now i have this guy clipped into this guy now on this um on the layer on the top right what i'll do is i come to my photoshop tools and i select my clone stamp tool now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be cloning areas of the hair and then filling it up into these areas right so i come to my clone stamp tool um increase or reduce the size depending on where you're clicking on or where you want to sample um so i'll reduce my size now i hold alternate and click on a clean area which is the hair that i want to use to um, cover up all of this area so i hold out on it click on the hair and then come into this area that i want to clean up and then slowly brush in right now when doing this try as much as possible to make sure you are cl you are um, cloning with areas that are close to each other for example what i mean is i cannot select here as where i want to clone and then use to clone up this area gk so what i'm saying is clone up with an area that is close to where you want to clone right so for here now i can easily hold alternate and click in this point click here and then come back here and then brush up right click and then brush click and then brush click and brush right so i keep repeating this process till i'm done i click and then i brush click here and then brush click and brush so let me do this area click here and then brush up click and then brush up then somewhere around the skin i can just clone with her skin so i click on the skin and then just clone up and that's pretty much it very short so when i'm done i can just delete my um black press delete and then merge the two of them hold control click on both of them and press control e to merge the both of them now become one layer so i can move this into whatever color of background i want and i won't see my hair you see very clean very short and very useful so that's pretty much it guys thank you very much for watching do well to like share subscribe drop a comment and i'll see you guys on my next tutorial thank you very much my name remains dkk aka sensei